going to review the P90TR which is available for NX and IGP. The P90TR is overall my favorite SMG because it is highly adaptable compared to other SMGs. You can go mid-range and sometimes long-range is not recommended but you can do long-range shots with the P90TR easily. Right now I'm comparing you some stats of the other SMGs available for NX. My personal opinion, the best SMGs are the PP-19, MP7s, P90s, and UMP. The Scorpion, the new M960, I, I do not enjoy those because they're not as spammable. The P MP7 does not come with the extended clip or anything, but with its very high fire rate and high damage for SMG, it kills very fast. Right now I'm just showing you some AK-74M gold plated that I got from a Michigan case recently. And I'll show you some guns I'll review in the future, the M4 Super 90 UMP L11583. I have the L9 right now because I was in a clan war recently. Well, on to the review. Right now, I'm going into a game that's just a 2 versus 2 because I'm running, uh, recording at 50 FPS half quality rather than 50 or no, 30 FPS uh, full quality, which is supposed to lower it, my lag and uh, make the video not as good quality but right now it feels pretty much the same because I don't think I changed it as you can see the P90TR has very low recoil and has very good spread the only uh, downside to the P90TR that I can think of is that it does not come with enough ammo it only has 100 bullets and two clips of 50 you will find that you will run out of ammo a lot and very quickly with this SMG rather than like the PP-19 which ha comes with around 120-130 bullets and the UMP which has about, I'm not sure but uh, it has about as much as P90TR or a little bit less. Right now I'm telling the noobs that I'm recording and I'm not hacking obviously. The P90TR for modifications I put an ACOG scope, the ACOG TA1 for personal preference because you can tap fire easier with ACOGs than ITEX for me. As you can see right there it's low low recoil you can shoot through cracks, everything with uh, the P90TR. I'm probably going to go to a different game or this guy's going to leave because his clan member left. Um, you can see the recoil is almost non-present. The spread doesn't get too bad for close range. The only time the spread goes too high is probably for mid-range or far range. Here's a different room that I joined. The, the, my team's getting semi spawn camped o over and over, and I've cleaned the spawn and I try to get the people to move onto Bravo side. That's the key to Wave Rider is whoever pretty much can spawn rape the other team first. And if you are being spawn raped, try to get out of spawn no matter what. Staying in spawn will get you frustrated and won't get you anywhere. I can see right now, all my team is in the spawn and I'm on Bravo side except for that one person. And me and that one person are getting kills while the rest of our team is getting great. You can see that the pull out, the draw out speed and the reload time for the P90TR is great. Um, the portability is average for SMG. It doesn't mean you go slow or anything. Um, oh, in my M110 SASS review, I should have lowered the fr F 
FPS, as you can see, I'm not a bad sniper. I hit him and he tanked it because of me hitting the edge of his leg and he's probably low at like 10 HP or less. Well, right now I'm showing you how the P90TR is at good portability but it's not the fastest SMG ever. The only time I can tell that SMG is fast for SMG is like a Uzi. I can tell the difference in those SMGs like a MAC-10 but the portability of a P90TR is about as good as a PP-19 and probably better than a UMP. The SMGs overall are meant for lottos as you can see right there. I made two straight headshots. I aim to call me hacker still. I, I really hope I don't get kicked. See, I'm not finding as many people right now. I'm trying to flank them, but I fail. What stats have I left out for the P90? Oh, the accuracy is very good for SMG. The accuracy for the P90TR stat wise, according to Nexon, isn't the best. So is the recoil. The recoil isn't supposed to be as uh, anything better than like a PP19 or UMP stat wise. But when you actually pick up this gun and you see it in scope, you see right there, the recoil is really, really low. A PP19 and UMP is pretty much impossible. Well, not impossible, but not recommended to do. As to the P90TR, you could go full auto, tap fire, in scope. Um, what other stats are there? Port. Uh, so many lag spikes. I'll probably end the review soon. I think I've covered every stat of the P90TR and boom. Right in the bottom. <laughs> but um remember that my reviews are my opinions. Um like the M one one O S A S S it is my favorite semi auto sniper. Uh, I do not enjoy semi-auto snipers at all and my gold default gun that I got from Mr. N case I will not review that because it's the same as the normal default gun but just a little bit more damage uh, I don't get why they're just staying there in the spawn and also I recommend that to save GP you can either buy NX guns and not buy any weapons really unless needed with your GP or just buy one day things like a G36 for one day earn as much as the G36 or more rather than buying a week and not knowing if you're going to be active that week right now I'm just showing you my end score which was pretty bad <laughs>